All right, be a fly on the wall. I pulled up a mix I did back in 2019. We are going to do it from scratch, start to end. And I'm shit scared because I have no clue if I'm going to beat out my old mix because I'm not allowed to listen to it. I've got it here. It's muted. You can see that there. And let's get into it. I'm going to shut my mouth and get mixing. I'll only comment if I feel like I need to make sense of something or explain something very specific. Otherwise, I'm mixing. All right, so shh, let me get to work. Ooh, that's fucking loud. That is loud. You know why that's so loud? Because no fucking gain structure. Everything's been like I've gained up to negative six and then compensate on the channel faders. So the gain structures as per the production, but I need to use my VCA fader here. Just bring everything down. Let's get rolling. This kick drum. So I think up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, ooh, that's not good. I like when kick drums do that. No, nah, not good. I tried to make that easier for myself. Doesn't matter. Change this grid over to eighth notes.
I like that. I like it a lot. Let's put that all on the grid. on there. Let's get you, Mr. Kiki. Get you over to the base. Ah, oh, canal. Wingardium Leviosa. Cool. It's all side chained. That's sick as. That is sick as. Let's just check something.
just going to try and squeeze in a little bit of a little bit of mixing another 20 minutes maybe of mixing maybe 15 and then i'm going to go bring the kids to swimming which is good fun but i just yeah i just wanted to squeeze in a little bit more slowly chip away at this whenever i have free time snare's pretty heavy the snare's pretty heavy and that's okay if <sighs> gonna ignore the snare for a little bit i want the stack of the synths and this bass to just be hella fucking hot hella fucking hot let's do that let's bring those up there Pretty cool. You can play that with the bass. That one there. sizzle in the air is nice on its own but i know that it's gonna sort of make it difficult for this lead line here to be super clear the clarity and the the tonality of that lead is exactly in the same as that mid so what we're gonna do is let's move across moving on moving on no 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 i don't want you i need isotope insight Might match the fundamentals of the crunch to that one and then work on tweaking the air overall.
because the kick drum's so loud, I want to, the way I'm going to level it out is I've got two things because the fundamental of that and the bass are pretty lined up. But if I bring the kick down, I'm going to bring the bass down and then the bass is going to be pretty weak. So we're going to have to add harmonics to the bass. So what I first want to do is I want to start with the peak level um, going into the clipper and just see how far I can pull it down so it's not hitting the clipper. Let's just see if that works. Where are we? There we are. There you go. So let's see if we can get something going there.
తర్వాత before we wrap up this weekend i just get this mix bus sorted so that way i've got like a final sort of output sound which i like the vibe of i'm going to god particle and we'll see what we can produce here
Fuck. All right, so this is day three. Mixing, just dribs and drabs. Um, I quickly had to listen before I started running the camera. I think I just want to thicken up the leads and make the bass a little bit more gritty. And then I want to get into doing the intro, automating a few sections. And then I just want to see how far we're able to take it. So let's fucking do this. That's a bit better, that's crunchy. Cool, cool, cool.
of the hardest things you know, you can kind of around That sounds wild. No, 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 no. That sounds horrible. I have a to come down a fuck ton. Just. Why is it so loud? That's horrible. That is horrible. I reckon I'm just about as comfortable as I'm ever going to be to listen to this mix before and after. So this top one is the original mix I did in 2019. This one down here is the new mix. Let's have a listen. Let's, let's suss out how the old one was. So let's go into that drop. You know what I just realized in that old mix? So when Arzen was in the session, we actually I had this idea and it was a production idea. And that was to cut the choir section. There's a choir part here. Cut that into the actual drop. So you'll hear this, you'll hear this choir sort of like um, glitching, uh, like a, a syncopated rhythm in the background when the 808's in, which isn't in my mix because I actually produced that in the mixing session with the client. I didn't do that here. I actually forgot about that. Let's just have a listen to the old one, then we'll listen to the new one, then we'll A-B at the same time. Let's listen to the new mix.
Listen to this. L- li- listen, li- 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 listen to this. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that, AB. Let's just have another listen in the drop. Very different. I love how heavy and raw the old mix is. I like how clean and defined and easy it is to get into the space on the new one. I think like somewhere in between is would be a really happy medium because um, I just went ham on distorting the bass in the old one and the new one, it's much cleaner, especially the low end. It's just way tighter. Um, maybe, you know what I reckon it is? I reckon it's this cut I did here. If I bring that back in, so that low end a little bit. Let's let's have another listen, A B. Buys remorse. I like the old mix better, but then there's things I did in this I really like. Eh. Anyway, that's a fly in the wall mixing. Um, things which I'm pretty proud of with this mix is the 808 drop on the new mix. I think sounds way cooler because I got this like stereo effect on the 808. Like it pops out the side of the speaker, which I think is pretty cool. Pretty cool effect that I enjoyed on this. Um, the synths I'm not too proud of. Not too proud of the synths in this mix, just to the way I threw it together. I'm, I reckon there's a, there's a lot of improvement that can be made there. Um, again, I'm just sort of like doing this in my spare time just to feel out what I could have done. I love the kick. Some people are going to hate the kick, but if you compare the original kick drum, if I bring this, you know what? I might do that. Let's, uh, I think I made a duplicate copy. Did I? I, I I'm going to make just a quick little duplicate here because the original kick drum, when you compare it to the new one is fucking chalk and cheese. Absolutely chalk and cheese. So if I go here, this is the old one. We'll level match them because one's obviously much louder. I'm really happy with the kick drum processing. Super tight kick. Kick drums now. Oh, just thuds really deep in the chest. Listen to this here. Especially when you've got a thick bass, you really want that staccato sort of sub to come through. Otherwise, everything just sounds muddy. So I'm happy with what I did on the kick drum there. So the 808, the kick I'm pretty happy with. The leads, as I said, I'm not happy with. Um, yeah, what else? Happy with the bass crunch. I love doing this. This is this is just like simple using the the 57 into a non-compressed 76. That always makes the bass super like heavy, but without having to get too much distortion. I like the distortion in the old mix. I like how natural the low end is in the new mix. Um this effect on here was sort of just out of necessity. Yeah, it was a fun mix. Um I'm gonna do more of these, probably. I'll probably think of a way to structure a little bit better because for this, it was just like I had the stems. I wanted to mix it, see what, see what we came up with and then go from there. 
So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, take care.